MKO Abiola funded 1985 coup that removed Buhari. Fanny Kaide alleges. Femi Fanny Kaide, former aviation minister, has alleged that Moshud Kashimawo Olawale MKO Abiola was behind the 1985 coup. Fanny Kaide alleged that Abiola funded the coup that removed President Buhari from power in 1985. He claimed that the same people Abiola used to remove Buhari from power annulled the 1993 presidential election he won. The PDP chieftain disclosed this in a series of tweets. Fanikade, however, commended Buhari for immortalizing Abiola with the June 12th Democracy Day 35 years later. According to Fanikade, MKO Abiola funded the coup that removed Buhari from power in 1985, yet it was the same people he put in power that year that annulled his election as president eight years later in 1993. What an irony. Again, the same Buhari he removed from power in 1985 was the one that 35 years later. Once back in power, he apologized for the annulment of his 1993 election um, and, mandate every, and mandate even though he had no hand in it and immortalized his name by declaring June 12 a democracy day. This is instructive. No matter what you say or think about Buhari, he did well on this one. Buhari recently changed democracy day from May 29th to June 12th in commemoration of Abiola following the annulment of the 1993 presidential election. How is this our business? That is just what I'm trying to find. I mean, it's so off topic. Okay, fine. Maybe in different perspectives, Buhari, Mr. Buhari done fantastic on this one. But is that the issue that we're talking about? Is that the reason why Nigerians are protesting? Is that the reason why everyone is calling on Buhari to do something? Because no one asked for a history lesson. Because this same history, you people will not enforce it or teach it in schools. So why are you telling us? We didn't ask. We didn't ask. I don't understand. How does that relate to anything? How does it relate? You're literally chatting outside to the topic. But I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I mean, to be honest, I will admit, I'm not really sure about the 1985 coup and whatever. So I'm not even well versed to talk about, okay, fine what happened or my perspective on it or even different perspectives to be very honest um but what i'm struggling to understand is so nigeria should not protest because buhari changed the date of democracy day because of the annulment of abiola's presidential election in 1993 huh Okay, I mean, to be honest, let's even look at the comment section so we can at least get some sort of direction in terms of people's opinion on, on this. Somebody says, can you prove it? Basket mouth. All right. Um, who knows if he has a hand in the annulment of the election? Um, okay, this man is actually an insane person. He's a double-edged sword. And then someone now replies and says, he has just said the truth. Abiela himself said it in his Concord newspaper. Uh, someone says, you have no value until you start valuing the truth. It is only hypocrites that cannot praise a man when he does the right thing. Hello, can we Nigerians ever trust a submission again? Considering your recent inconsistent stance on national issues, I doubt it. And someone says, simply because he praised Buhari on this. um, Maybe, to be honest, my opinion is I don't have one because I'm not too versed on that part of Nigeria's history but I think if we're going to stay on track on what is happening right now this has nothing to do with anything basically we're trying to make Buhari look good in a time where Buhari is actually very bad and we are all trying to expose him for the kind of president that he is so again you're giving us a history lesson okay fine do your thing but why why now of all times why didn't you do it how many years ago why, why is it now of all times at this point when the heat is n on Buhari and of course his image is not looking good. I mean, he's literally scared that he can be overthrown. So again, you can describe this as PTSD because he was once overthrown as well. So again, any sort of criticism of him, he would literally think that they're trying to overthrow him in which he's just like, okay, fine, like 
grow up at this point um someone says that's the fact because some of you guys were too young then or were probably not on born them to understand the situation then in, that is that can be very true if you're not there you don't understand the times or the context or how things happen you can get things wrong and you know mistaken but I, my question is how does this relate to what is happening now of all things that you could have said this is what you bring up funny kind I'm, I'm referring it to him of all the things you could have said you're bringing this up in a time where buhari's image is not necessarily the best looking um, someone says, behind any rumor, there's always a tip of truth. This is the sixth of them, and I'm hearing or reading this from, but still, Buhari must go. Thank you. At least the only comment that I've seen, okay, fine, has an objective opinion, but then still brings it back to the... to Because, the, again, it's like, we you can have told us information, like, two years ago, or how many months ago. Why is it now? Making Buhari look like a good man. Okay, fine, he must have done good things. Fantastic. But it doesn't take away from the fact that he's not doing a good job as president right now. Uh, somebody says, then now that this government doesn't like it, why didn't his fan remove him on the 12th of June so that his fans repeat what he did in 1985? Um, okay. <laughs> You're very correct. His Concord newsprint was seized by Buhari government. And somebody says something about that Concord newsprint again, saying that that confirms that he actually, well, Abiola funded the cool uh somebody here says ffk when will you tell us how you ruined the aviation industry and squandered the budget when you were minister the only thing consistent about you is your consistency or you mean inconsistency <laughs> right um trust nigerians we'll bring out your fell outside do any how you see any how as in nigeria they just came for this man okay you're talking let's open your own file and expose you as well that's what this person decided to do uh, somebody says, basket mouth, speaking different things from both sides of the mouth. Wonder what Gulag Jonathan saw in you that he made you minister. Oh, okay. So, he was actually working under um Jonathan's regime. Now he's, okay, this makes sense. Because a lot of people in the comments are calling him a basket mouth. um Speaking with the two sides of his mouth. You know, meaning that, of course, he's not, he's, he, he's wavering. He has a double-minded, um... He's double-minded, basically. I mean, that's just it, to be honest. I think my confusion is, first of all, um, I don't even know enough about this topic or the coup in 1985 to have an opinion about this, or even an objective opinion. And secondly, if I'm trying to be open-minded to understand this, I do not even see any reason or any correlation with what is going on right now and why this history lesson is relevant, because we didn't ask for it. But I think, and don't forget to like and subscribe.